hello guys today our lecture will be on the design of a flat built the problem is from Shigley design of machine element uh, and it is from chapter 17 the problem is 4 so let's start with the problem here in this problem we are given that a flat built drive is consists of two four feet diameter cast iron pulley so this is going to be the diameter of the pulleys and they are spaced apart by an amount of 16 feet and we have to select a belt type in other words we will have to uh, design the belt and it is designed to transmit power of 60 horsepower and the speed of the pulley uh, to transfer this power should be equal to 380 rpm and after that we are given that the service factor is 1.1 and design factor is 1 so the given data is diameter of both the pulleys is 4 feet or both the pulleys have same diameter so it is going to be equal to 48 inches and since they are spaced apart by an amount of 16 feet so the central distance c is equal to 16 feet uh, then we are given that we have to design this pulley for 60 horsepower and the service factor should be equal to 1.1 and design factor should be equal to 1 and the speed should be equal to 380 so this is the given data to solve this problem we will use the tables but to take the value from the tables you will have to select belt material as well so let we select that we are going to design this built from polyamide a3 so for that uh, let's go to the tables the coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.8 and the value of fa is 100 and the value of the thickness of the belt should be equal to 0 0.13 and the value of gamma is equal to 0 0.42 and pulley corruption factor is equal to 1 and for polyamide velocity correction factor is equal to 1 as well when we design a belt what do we do we want to find out the diameters of the pulleys and thickness of the belt and the width of the belt as well so you can say that these are the uh, designs variables uh, but you know that the diameter of both the pulleys in other words d1 and d2 as given to us similarly the value of the thickness is taken from the table that is 0 0.13 for polyamide a3 belt so these three variables will not be our headache because the d1 and d2 is already given and the thickness can be taken from the table so what the headache for us is this word b so to design it uh, let's find out the tensions in the belt which is f1 and f2 similarly there will be initial tension as well in this belt and when it rotates due to the rotation uh, there will be centrifugal force and due to the centrifugal force there will be some amount of tension contributing to it uh, due to the centrifugal force so let me represent that by fc so we will have to find out these forces uh, beginning with the force f1 as you know that 1a is equal to b f a c p and c v uh, the value of f a is 100 and c p value is 1 and c v value is also 1 so put these values that is going to give you f1 a is equal to 100 b now let's find out the value of fc as we know that fc is equal to mv square by r and it is also equal to specific weight divided by g and 2 velocity divided by 60 whole square how we are going to find out this w and this velocity v this w is equal to 12 gamma bt and velocity is going to be equal to pi dn so fc will be equal to 12 gamma bt divided by g and instead of velocity you will have to put pi dn divided by 60 whole square so 
we will get this formula now if we put the values in this formula we will get uh, the value for fc the value of gamma is 0 0.042 and the value of b is unknown the value of t is 0.13 and the value of g g is actually gravitational acceleration so in feet per second square it is going to be equal to 32.17 and the value of d is 48 and similarly the value of uh, speed is equal to 380 rpm so putting these values after the calculation it is going to be equal to 12.67 d now we are going to find out f2 so for that you know that let's say this is a pulley and this is a belt so there will be f1 and f2 two forces let's say f1 is greater than f2 initially let's say f1 is equal to f2 so you can imagine that f f1 and f2 both are equal so this pulley is not going to rotate but f f1 is greater than f2 so what will happen this pulley will rotate in this direction and that is equal to r or d by 2 now you know that this rotation is because of the uh, difference in these two forces so rotation will be because of the difference in f1 and f2 so when there is a rotation there will be a torque as well so that torque will be equal to f1 minus f2 into r or d by 2 so f2 will be equal to f1 minus 2 t by d now you know the value of f1 is 100 b and the value of d is 48 uh, you need to find out the value of t t or uh, torque is also equal to h nominal k s and d by n but since h nominal is in horsepower so you will have to put in 63025 h, h nominal k s and d so we will use this one instead of this so f2 will be equal to f1 is 100 b minus 2 t we will find out from this formula and d is 48 now if you put values in this equation that is going to give you t is equal to 63025 and 2h nominal is 60 ks is 1.1 and nd is equal to 1 and n is 380 rpm so putting these values t is going to be equal to 10946 so this is going to be the value of the torque so put this value over here in this in fact in this equation so f2 will be equal to 100b minus 456.08 so this will be the value of f2 now as you know that we have found out f1 and we found out f2 and also fc now we need to find out initial tension in the belt and term of b so let's find it out we can find this from the equation that is fi is equal to f1 plus f2 divided by 2 minus fc so using this formula we can find out the value of fi f1 is 100b and f2 is 100b minus 456.08 divided by 2 minus fc is 12.67b so you will get fi is equal to 112.67b minus 228.04 so this is the value of fi now to find out the value of the weight b so let's take this equation that is e to the power or f pi is equal to f1 minus fc is equal to f2 minus fc uh, you know the value of f1 f2 and fc in term of the weight b uh, and you know the value of uh, coefficient of friction uh, as well that is 0 0.8 and uh, the pi will be equal to 180 degree or pi when both the pulleys are of same diameter so e to the power f theta will be this and it is going to give you 12.345 
now f1 is 100b and fc is 12.67b f2 is 100b minus 456.08 so you will get 12.345 is equal to 87.332b divided by 87.332b minus 456.08 multiply this over there and divide this 12.345 over there so it will give you this now bring this term onto this left side of the equality and bring this 456.08 to the right side of the equality it is going to give you so it will give you the value of b to be equal to 5.6 at 2 7 inch but you know that uh, whenever there are designing you can design uh, things with any values but when it comes to the manufacturing uh, you may not manufacture that product with the same dimensions uh, because the production line may be accustomed to a specific dimensions so looking at to the manufacturing data this the belt with this width will not be available uh, if you search in the internet you may ask your teacher as well about the manufacturing data uh, he may tells you that go with the same dimension means he can ask you that if you have found it out the value of b uh, to be equal to this so that's fine this is the design but uh, as far as industry is concerned uh, they will have specific dimensions that can be manufactured over there so there are some standard value as well which are manufactured almost everywhere so the nearest value for the width the belt is 10 so if you take the width 10 inches then what will happen as f1 was 100 b so f1 will be equal to 100 multiplied by 10 it will be going to be equal to 1000 lbf and similarly f2 was 100b minus 456.08 so it is going to give you 453.92 when you put the value of b similarly fc will be equal to 126.68 lbf so these will values will be for the tension in the belt when you have a belt of 10 inches width if you look into the shiglaze design of machine element there is a condition that f dash should be less than the f so f dash will be the uh, coefficient of friction when you have modified your design means your design was this one but you modified it to this so let's find out f dash and f dash can be found from the same equation that is each to the power f dash into pi is equal to f1 minus fc divided by f2 minus fc now if you take ln on this equation on both sides you will get f dash into this pi is equal to ln of f1 minus fc divided by f2 minus fc now let's divide this pi over here so f dash is equal to 1 over uh, pi into ln of f1 minus fc divided by f2 minus fc so this is going to be the equation that can be uh, used to find out the value of f dash so put the values in this equation it will give you a value f dash is equal to 0 0.24 since f was this f was 0 0.8 and this f dash is 0 0.24 as 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.24 so the design is okay but still there will be uh, some other problems as well uh, when you are manufacturing it you will have to uh, look at the cost analysis as well and you may be required to modify this design means you will have to design multiple belts and whichever is cost effective for you you are going to take that one as your design so thank you so much guys for watching this lecture uh, we will upload some other videos on this this flat belt as well and after that we will go towards the v belt so stay with us thank you so much